When people find out I do comedy, first question they always ask, where do you spend all the money you make? Is a question I never get asked. Have you ever been heckled? As a seven foot former pro football player, people do not tend to heckle me. But in my first year doing comedy, I was in a restaurant where all the best comedy shows happen, where I believe the other patrons were unaware that a comedy show was going on. A couple of ladies in their 60s were sitting in the front row accidentally, enjoying their dessert, and they offered me a little bit of it. So I sat down and had a little babka. Got home to my wife that night. She said, how was the show? I said, piece of cake. That's when I knew I was hilarious. So I went to my Friday night show at Yuck Yucks and asked some of my friends, okay, other comedians, about their heckler stories. Just a bunch of kids running around with meth. You got that? Uh, my, my worst heckler story. Um, I'm Howie Miller, by the way. Um, I'm in uh, Grand Cash, Alberta. In the tank, you'll drive and be like, cool. Is it automatic? What's up, fams? It's Nick Burden here. Um, talking about uh, hecklers. Before that, I just found a lot of stuff on the ground. Hi, my name's Amber. Um, I'm going to tell you one of my worst heckling stories. Uh, well, I wasn't the heckler. I was on stage doing a showcase for Just for Laughs. <laughs> That's when you leave memories in your boxer shorts. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, my worst heckler story. Uh, it was the worst night of my life. <laughs> um, heckler story. Watch, I get on stage, and right away, the front, the two women in the front row were hammered, and she kept yelling at me to make fun of her hair lip. Um, my favorite heckler story uh, happened uh, five minutes ago in this very club, Yuck Yucks, um, in which there was an individual who thought that they were adding to the show by just yelling uh, nonsense. Uh, my name's Kyle Morfenstin. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a professional heckler and it's great. Uh, Mostly what I get because I talk a lot about having been a really unattractive and a loser in high school. I'll get somebody in the audience that yells out occasionally, you're pretty, just relax. You know who Waldo is, right? Yeah. Just not where. Um, I don't have a lot of good heckling stories, but I was just on stage and as soon as I came off stage, my belt like came undone. And, um, you know, just for last, one of the biggest festivals uh, in the hey, world. You know, this is supposed to be funny, Amber. This is supposed to be funny story. I'm just setting it up. Just like how I... Humor. Put some humor in there. Oh. Good bang. <laughs> no, seriously. Fuck you! It's one of the, it. It's like, what are they going to do without me? They need that springboard. When I go, that's what she said, it gets them into their material. Like she says, why aren't you making fun of my hair lip? If you're going to heckle, commit. Just be a committed heckler. But... I'm a uh, glass half full type of guy, uh, so I take solace in the fact that I got a round of applause for calling someone. It adds to the show. Uh, comics love it. Hi, I'm back. Okay. So, um, it's the Just for Last Festival, or not festival, it's a showcase for it. So if you get picked, you go and do this like notorious festival. And so I'm telling a joke and I say, hey, who's single in the yeah, audience? In the 90s, once they're, uh, they're, they're back. Howie! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> right, look, I haven't even said hello yet, and you're yelling at me to make fun of your hair lip. Uh, I was doing a show, I was hosting a show, and uh, I was saying, saying my jokes, and this guy would cut in on all of my punchline. People say hecklers aren't part of the show. This guy is the show. And it was dark, but I saw the light on in the box office. So I ran over and Ashley was there. I was like, okay, I just have to redo my belt up. So she was really nice. She was like, cool, like stand over there. So I did it up. Brings it brings the show shows at like a what? A six? I bring it to a nine and a half, sometimes eleven. And the crowd goes crazy. Like she just said it so honestly and like so 
uh, like the timing was like so good uh, that she just got like this huge laugh. And at this point, I know I can't top that laugh. Yeah, so you know what? I, I just come by, uh, grab a couple brewskis, sit in the front row. Whatever happens, happens. I just let the funny fly. So I just try to power through and be professional and, and, and just go and do my set, but she keeps on make, telling me to make fun of her hair lip. And she just like yell something or like, I thought he was like one of those helpful guys. Oh man, when somebody tells a joke and, and like there's nobody laughing, I like to go womp womp and hilarious every time. I don't know if it's my worst heckle or just the worst experience I've had on stage, but that's, that's pretty much it. The hair lip lady from Grand Cash. Clearly jokes isn't what's gonna happen. So I'm like, I'll do crowd work. This guy wants to be part of the show, he can be part of the show. And everybody gives me applause breaks after they love me, dog. As soon as the audience stops laughing, I start just crumbling laughing. And then I started talking to him and he got like really shy. He was like, ooh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I didn't get into the festival. Maybe that chick did. Yeah, it was awesome. Radical. <laughs> I just laid the beat down on Howie. I went back to telling jokes, and uh, my very next joke, I'd get to the punchline, and he starts yelling. Oh my god, there's this one, there's this one guy. He, <laughs> he was going into some really heavy stuff, man. And I was like, don't go there, man. And then he went there, and I was like, tell me how you really feel. Oh my god, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm like, oh good, the audience is on my side. And then someone next to her said, well, maybe he'd let him if this guy was funny. And, uh, and then I cried. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, shut up and let him tell a joke. And I told it. I, it was so good. Off the top. They go, he goes on stage, he's like, hey, how's it going, everybody? I was like, what's up? Like, you, you guys remember that reference, right? Like, what? Yeah. Don't heckle me. People fuck. So they, they pause right before their punchline and I go, I got a better one.